goodies to the Horn Hunter backpack this morning. So I'm going to take my Montana decoy. I've got this new Eon X decoy. It comes with a carrying case. Don't see the purpose of that. I'll just put it in my backpack. Whoa, did you see that drift? The one nice thing about the Montana decoy, that big. This guy is a little larger. Hopefully its stakes won't break. New triple wall threat Quaker Boy Slate Call. Made part of those names up. I believe the secret of sounding like different birds is having four different strikers with you. Can I just show you real quick how good this new one sounds? I'm sure I'm not gonna wake my wife up. Notice I'm keeping the striker on the slate. You guys taught me that. I don't even know I'm going to pack it, but I'm just going to pack this old thing. doesn't sound really that great. Then we have this crow call that I cannot make sound like a crow. <coughs> Woo! Who's seen three amigos? Up here! Up here! That's what it sounds like. <coughs> I'm just going to pack it. I don't want to forget you guys. Something. We're gonna back up the 
uh, jumping jack and head north an hour or so and uh, get into big sacks of public land where we can chase birds all day. Let's go set up on these birds and see what we can do. You always learn something when you try, so. Just jump over this hill, hopefully they can't see us. It's my next question. Is do they uh, gobble while they're in the roost or do they gobble right when they get down out of the roost? Especially that many times. Would you guys think they're still in the roost from what you heard or that they've flown down? Every time that crow, or whatever that bird is, squawks. It sounds like a honor almost. You guys are ready for this? I don't know if you are. Why would you just, I'm gonna use a Velcro strap. No kidding, you blow it up. <laughs> I thought Logan was joking with me. There's a valve on there. You pull it out and you have to blow this thing up. Once again, know your equipment. <laughs> know how to use it. Read the instructions. The turkeys are still gobbling, luckily. We're over here blowing up inflatable freaking rafts. That looks pretty awesome, though. I'm gonna sneak up on this hill. Makes you feel like uh, better about yourself when you make a turkey noise and they respond. I don't know if they're responding to me, but they're responding after I make the call or they're just talking to each other. Dude, those hands are gone.
us and actual real animals instead of trying to just come up with these noises by yourself. It's been cool listening to the hands that make some crazy noises. I heard one do this. What is this? Like... It's probably like a warning sign, like, go. Uh,
admit to coming down the canyon. He'll sit up there and gobble at me the whole time. But we did learn about our decoy today. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna call the fishing game today, the local officer, and uh, find out the law about corner hopping in uh, Idaho. Because if we can corner hop and get on that hill, definitely killing a big turkey or a turkey but shut up you know all I'm really trying to tell him right now is I'm a sexy hen I've got some real bad intentions and you would think any Tom Rick or Harry would come and take advantage of me but you know maybe these turkeys have morals anyway I gotta be a track meet they're mocking me now. They're definitely mocking me. I gotta be in track meet at 11, so we gotta go, but we'll be back. The more I hunt this little spot, it gets a little frustrating because we can't go everywhere we want. But it makes me want to really kill a turkey in here. A ton of birds in here. I'm gonna go find out if we can corner hop. That's gonna change everything if we can.